Hi everyone, welcome to Be Smart Together. Before we start, please click subscribe and turn on the notification to avoid missing valuable videos. Also, feel free to drop a comment below. Today, I want to show you how to create a list of dates in Excel and Power Query, and create a calendar table by M code. Do you create a list of dates starting with a date and then fill it down? Or you plus one to increment the date? I want to show you a different way to create the list. We have the start date, end date, and incremental day. The formula we want to use is the sequence. The formula has four elements, rows, columns, start and steps. The first element required the number of rows. We need to take the end date minus the start date and divide it by the day. I'll explain in a second why we're dividing it by day. We also need the round down formula to avoid decimal places. We want to return the result in a single column. The start date is the starting point, and the incremental day is one from the start date. Bam! Now select the list. Hold Ctrl, Shift and Hash key to format the list to date format. Say you want the date by weeks. Change the incremental day to 7. You can add a transpose formula to spill the result horizontally. Let's extend the end date a bit. The result will be extended automatically. Now let's import the input table into Power Query, so I can show you how we can replicate it in Power Query. We want to create three custom steps to reference the start date, end date, and incremental day. The cell reference video covers how to reference in Power Query. Please check out the link below. Let's add the first custom step and reference the start date. Copy the code for the next custom step. Add the second custom step, and paste over the copied code. Then, update the index from 0 to 1. Now add the third custom step, and the index for the incremental day is 2. We now have all three references created. Add another custom step and type in list.numbers. We use the start date as the first element of the list.number formula. The requirement for this formula is number, so we need to use the number dot from to convert the date to number. The second element is the number of rows. We take the end date minus the start date. The input formula returned a list of numbers. We can use the list.transform and date dot from functions for the conversion. We can add the incremental date to the third element of the list.number function. The date is now incremented by 7 days. We also need to divide the number of rows by the incremental day to get the date spill within the range. What is left to be done is to turn the list into a table. To turn the list to horizontal view, we can use the transpose function. Go to the transform tab and click on transpose. We then load it to Excel. Disable the column header, and update the format. The next thing I want to show you is a pure M code way to create a calendar table. Let's leave source blank easy for me to show you the code step by step. Add a custom step and rename it to start date. Type the start date and the formula bar. Add another custom step and rename it to end date. Type the end date in the formula bar. Add another custom step and rename it to calendar list. Type open and close curly brackets in the formula bar. Type the start date and end date as highlighted in the formula bar with comma in between. We need to use number dot from to convert it 8 to number. Replace the highlighted comma with two dots. The code is translating the start date to end date instead of start date and end date. To the list of number to date, we need list dot transform and date dot from functions as highlighted. We now have a list of dates but it is still not enough. Add a custom step, and rename it to transform column list. Let's add the highlighted code in the formula bar. Type 5 underscores and separate by comma within the curly brackets. You get 5 same dates. Add the date dot year function to the second underscore in the formula bar. It will returns the year. Add the date dot month function to the third underscore in the formula bar. It will returns the month. Add the date dot day function to the fourth underscore in the formula bar. 
it will return the day. Add the eight dot day of week name function to the fourth underscore in the formula bar. It will returns the name of the day. Let's add another one date dot month name to get the name of the month. Add the last custom step and rename it to calendar table. This step is aims to turn the list into a table. I will show you a different way to turn a list into a table. We use the list dot transform and record from list functions. Convert the list to record. The list of names in the record from list functions are the column names. Let's preview one of the records. We need to add one last function, table dot from record is highlighted, to convert the record to table. I hope those information is helpful for you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.